it's been been a while since we we did a podcast together. We we talk often, but uh, a lot has changed since our last official podcast episode. Yeah, man, life's life's a lot different now since that last one. It was an an overnight thing, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, man. I tell I I use you as an example um, of consistency of consistency you know people feel like giving up they feel like nobody's listening to them and then the right person lays eyes on what you're doing the right person notices and you get that favor you know with with men you have favor with god but then you have favor with men and that's kind of like something that's happened with you and i I use your story just the fact that uh you know we've been friends and i help you with websites stuff like that but i've seen like consistency and then i saw um, I saw you get gaining traction, like your numbers were going up and we talk about subscribers and how do we get in front of new audiences and stuff like that. And you were getting a hundred subscribers a day, 200, 300 subscribers a day. I'm getting like 15 to 20 if I'm lucky these days. And so we're just kind of just talking about you, the YouTube game. And, uh, and then all of a sudden you were getting a thousand a day, 2000, 3000, 5,000 a day. You, and you had no idea where these numbers were coming from. Uh, let's just talk about the growth, man. Uh, just where, you know, we, we were watching it together, you know, and I'm always, because you, you were having consistent growth by yourself before, um, I guess your articles and well, your videos got turned into articles and stuff like that. Let's just kind of talk about how that, that growth happened out of nowhere. I mean, yeah, I think it was several factors. I mean, one of the definite factors, and I tell everybody this too, just like you do is consistency is key. I believe that's in anything you do, even if it takes five years. I've noticed if you're consistent and you continue to do it, eventually, you know, it just seems like the principle of life is you eventually see breakthrough in the area that you're trying to break through in. So there's really no secret ingredient yeah. or anything like that. I think that if there is a secret ingredient, the, 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 it is consistency because a lot of people don't know. I started actually vlogging and doing the Supernatural Encounters on the channel in 2017. And the videos were horrible, man. I mean, (laughs) the editing was bad. I didn't know what I was doing, but I just, I got a dream from the Lord. So I went after it and I stayed consistent. And it wasn't until about, I don't know, what, about mm, six months ago or something like that, if that, that the channel actually uh, blew up, you know, in a good way. And there was also a level of prayer there too, because I did go, I did go and I talked to God, man. And I told God, I was like, look, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my, my butt out here day and night, you know, and I'm, I'm really sacrificing and I'm, you know, I've, I've given my life completely to you and I'm looking and I'm watching all these other people who are, you know, bringing all this unrighteous stuff to the, to the, to the yeah. low and stuff. And, you know, I know that the blessings of the Lord reign on the righteous and the unrighteous. So I did, Hey, you know, if I believe if people can go, Hey, Satan, I'm going to sell my soul to you. I, I went ahead and sold my soul to Jesus. You know, <laughs> I did for real. I said, Hey, Jesus, you know, I'm right here. I went to my secret places, literally, I said, I said, I'm right here. I'm willing to be used. If you exalt me in this season, I'll exalt you. I'll make sure that you get all the glory and everything that I do. I said, if, if, if celebrities can ask Satan for this, can't we come to you? If we're, in, a, if we're yeah. in the right place and our hearts are clean and we don't want any reward in this, but we want you to get the whole reward, can you not use one of your children for that? I mean, I challenged him like that. I was like, look, you're, you're not a man that you can lie, right? So you got to hold up your end of the deal. I'm, I'm lost. You know, so I went to sleep, man. And literally after that prayer, bro, after I, after that prayer, I woke up and God TV was one of the people that grabbed my video. And then it just put it right into the YouTube algorithm and it just blew up, man. Yeah. And uh, other videos have caught traction, too, just because of, of that one video. That one video blew the rest of the videos up and it's just been a continual growth ever since. Yeah. yeah. So, That's amazing, man. And uh, like I said, you never know who's going to see your video and uh, the right people that need to see it. And obviously... You, you got the numbers now, there's the masses there, but I think the key for, for, for you to be successful is just to, to speak to the one, like to, to look through the camera if you're doing ministry, or even on here, speak to that one person that needs it. And uh, and I think your your heart, you know, comes into play. Even praying a prayer like that, um, I was wanna ask you like, were you like in a, in a place of consecration? Because I feel like we have to like examine ourselves to make sure that, you know, you got to get ready to be exposed, man. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Like that comes with the territory, but for God to put you on that type of platform, you got to be like, okay, everything's good. I have no hidden sin. I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it for this and that and that. Okay, God, I'm ready. Was that kind of like 
just the, the, the state of mind you were in before you would pray, or, pray a prayer like that? Yeah, because, you know, you know my story. I went through a really, really humbling experience in my life. And, and I really, you know, I had to be, you know, you got to go through levels of rejection and losing the fear of man. You know, you can't come onto a platform with that fear of man in your heart or you will exalt yourself in your own heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, you know, Jesus is all about selflessness and, and the one, you know. So, yeah, I went through a, a pretty tough season of, of trying to do it in my own strength and stuff. And it messed up and blew up. And, you know, I went through a lot of I guess you would call that a season of uh, consecration just in a different way. You know, so I, bro I got broke down pretty good. And, and I'm, I thank God for it, because now now, I, you know, either way, even if I was on an island somewhere, I would be content. You know, if I was yeah. on an island just chilling, man, and knowing that I got the presence of the Holy Ghost with me, man. It, if it's a million, if it's one, dude, it's 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 all about just, you know, loving the one in front of us. So I think I, I had to get myself into the place of really understanding the compassion of Jesus's heart, you know, loving yeah. people. And when I got to that place and that understanding, um, I think that's why the Lord did what he did with me. Yeah. Because because I, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it's all his anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. For people, you know, who are who have a platform and they're wanting to break through for, for me. I do look at it as levels and and testing and things that we need to pass and get pass and, and uh, get out of us. Like the, the new level that you're operating in now, there were things on the lower levels that you couldn't take with you, whether it was bitterness or you were angry at people or whatever. Like if you was to take that to them higher levels that God would not allow you to, to step into until you got that out, you would easily mess up the platform and everything that the Lord's been doing in your life. You would make a mockery of the gospel essentially right yeah of course i mean you i would have i would have i would have became a god in people's eyes you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah i would i would have put myself in the wrong place i'm thankful for that hiding process and that testing the waters process people get you know what i'm saying weary in that and they want numbers they know they got good content they're preaching the word from their heart and they got something the world needs to see but it's something within them that they have to kind of give up that you know, desire for the limelight and, and, and change, you know, the position of the heart. And it is a spiritual matter that that elevation or going viral or getting in front of, of people from a Christian perspective, I would say. Yeah. And, you know, another big dynamic of, I believe, the success is um, my heart is always family. You know, I always uh, anybody that I'm the biggest thing that you'll notice if you look at my channel is we call each other family. You know what I mean? Supernatural life. We have a very strong family dynamic. And people buy into that. And when I say buy in is that they want to invest because they know they know that what they're investing in has an investment yeah. into them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But I think when when I think when you have a heart like that, that's God's heart. Right. We invest into him by accepting that salvation. gift, And then out of that, we get that return investment, even though we're not looking for it. It still comes, you know. So yeah. I try to I try to display that on my channel to make sure that people know that when they come, this is a safe place. This is an environment that also encourages their gifts, their calls, their destiny. You know, uh, my heart is to make sure people get into those places, you know, and yeah. uh, it, and I tell people all the time, if you're not here to grow, if you're not here to grow bigger than where you already are, you're in a place that you don't. This isn't going to be good for you. You need to go just sit in a mega church somewhere and chill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I'm all about success, man, for people, for the kingdom's sake, because that's what I what I do, you know?